Imagine the bustling city of Lagos in the year 2125. Flying taxis, clothing markets, rooftop burger parties. Crazy, right? Here is the twist. I made this in minutes using AI and today I'll show you exactly how you can do that too. Welcome to Everyday Life with Jane and on today's tutorial, you will learn how to create these futuristic LEGO scenes using Halo AI completely free. I will share my exact prompts, show you how to get cinematic quality and even test different resolutions so you know what works best. If that sounds good, hit the subscribe button because the results will blow your mind. This is Halo AI, a free text to video image to video platform that turns your ideas into stunning cinematic clips. The link to this AI tool is in the description so you can try it after you watch this video. Now, once you open Hello AI, you go over here and then you click sign in. You can either continue with Google or continue with Apple. Please note that they give you free credits every day. I think about 60 free credits that you can use to just try out the platform. Note that you can also use this on your PC as I'm doing here and I also have it on my mobile device and it works very seamless, okay? Well, the real secret to creating stunning results is writing powerful prompts. So let's go ahead and create one. Prompts are everything. The more descriptive you are, the better your video looks. So here is the formula I work with. Number one, you must always choose a location and a time period. Number two, you must always add cultural details like Yoruba attire, Ibu attire, things we are discussing Lagos. Number three, a futuristic twist. Let's look at the example of this prompt of a Lagos market in the year 2125. You can see that first of all, I start with the location of a massive futuristic Nigerian market. So we have said the location is a Nigerian market and then we have put the time period. The cultural stuff that we're adding here includes this Yoruba and Igbo attire, which is consistent with the Nigerians that live in Lagos. Now, we're also going to add some other things that makes it look very authentic. For example, we have fresh pepper for 20, 200 naira, beg your pardon, or kirika for 50%. Or Kirka means fairly used wares. So these are some of the things that you add that makes your prompt very much realistic. If you would like this prompt, drop a comment in the comment section and I will send you this prompt personally. Or you can as well just take a screenshot of it. Next, I'll generate the video. So you're going to go and select your prompt just like this. Right click it and copy the prompt. You're going to go to the Hello AI platform. I'm going to click right click here and then we are going to paste the prompt that we just copied. Okay. Now, if you have an image reference, you can click this place and upload your image reference. That is if you want to do an image to a video generation, but this is going to be a text to a video generation. Okay. So you select it right here and then you press create. But what I really like to do is I always go to this portion here that says video I has a new model because Hello AI has a new model that is called Hello 0.2 and that is the model we are going to be trying for all our generations today. So this is what you're going to do. We have the image to video section which we are not going to be working with today. Today we are going to be doing the text to video of course and so we are going to click the text to video. You're going to right click in here and then you're going to paste your prompt. Now. Clicking here, we are going to select Halo 2 because this is their newest um, AI generation engine. And then here, when you click here, you're going to see you have access to two resolutions, the 768p and the 1080p. The 768p is what costs 25 credits and the 1080p is the one that costs 80 credits. Okay, now note that the videos are going to be six seconds in duration, except you have like very full access. Now, this is a quick disclaimer because we're using Hello 2, you would realize that you don't have the ability to select the aspect ratio. For example, YouTube is an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, while we use a portrait aspect ratio of 9 by 16 for our mobile you know, video generations, but you cannot select in this platform. And I think that that is something that the platform should definitely work on. Now let's go ahead and do the resolution test as we wait for our cinematic uh, market scene to be generated. I generated this video in the opening using this particular prompt. So if you want the prompt of the lady talking to the taxi driver, please drop it in the comments, ask me in the comments and I'll drop this particular prompt. 
So I generated it first using 768p. And if you look at this very well, you can see that there are some things that are not as clear. You can see the suya is not as clear they are selling here. You can see some of the facial features are not as clear. Now, in this same exact prompt, I generated it now using 1080p as you can see here so can we see the level of detail that is in this video right now even though it looks a bit animated right but you can see some level of detail in it right now you can see the flying cards you can see the LTN billboard and you know some other things so i don't know which one do you prefer do you prefer 768p resolution or you prefer the 180p resolution drop your pick in the comments so now let's go back to the video to see the final results. So this is the final scene generation of the market at 768 in pixel generation. So you can click this arrow here and then click without watermark and then you can just save your video. So my own tip would be start with a 25 credit fashion, okay, and preview and see if you like it. If it looks good, then you can upgrade to an 80 credit fashion. They give you two versions for two different resolutions of the videos that you create. Now, I'm going to talk about some drawbacks in this Halo AI software that I'm experiencing or experienced when I was trying to create this particular job, okay? First of all, I realized that when using the text to video feature, as you can see here, it kept on producing videos for me that looked animated. They look like animated videos. They look like videos from like a computer game, right? I did not like that. I wanted realistic videos, but no matter how much I tried, with the prompts, I still always got animated looking videos. But then I realized when you created scenes, scenic videos like this one, you're showing a scene from afar. It looks so good. Wide shots of a community like this one, like as you can see right here, they all look so good. Like really, really good, nice, futuristic. You're getting the cinematic feel that you want. But when you go in to create humanistic clips, they just tend to look very, very cartoonish, very overly animated, and they just look so much like a video game. But all in all, it's very good, and you can generate lots of videos with this that can give you thousands and thousands and thousands of views, either as a beginner um, AI creator or even as an expert AI create so try it out and share what you create with me you can find me on tiktok at everyday life with jane and if you want more futuristic city tutorials like this or even nollywood style fighting scenes using ai hit like subscribe and turn your notifications next week i'm creating something even wilder and trust me you do not want to miss it you can also watch any of these other videos right here and just enjoy yourself thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one